I have been away from my shop for weeks now, traveling for different maker fairs and stuff. And I love maker fair, that's why I do what I do, but I miss my shop. So I got home and then as soon as I got home I had another delay in that a big tree fell through my house and my house has no electricity so the tiny bit of spare time that I've got I've been dealing with that I just I haven't been able to play in my shop for like a month there's freaking cobwebs on my tools so I'm gonna blast through a project I need to get something made to, to just clear my mind and, and be able to move on let's make something cool I've had this idea bouncing around in my brain for a while that's a wave machine, just like a little mechanical thing, uh, you know, that you twist with your hand and, and it's got all these different arms. You can see me designing here in Fusion 360 and it, as you turn it, it, the arms raise and lower at different rates and it makes a wave. It's like a little cam that I didn't model. But anyway, here's the, here's the final model. Um, the cam is not modeled here, it would go on the lower part there and, and I'm thinking I'll make them interchangeable, but I'm not tackling that right now. I'm, I'm just going to make some of those arms that go across the top. And I spent some time thinking about how you should do it and decided I was just running in mud. I was just wasting so much time thinking about the proper way. I'm going to plow through this and just cut the freaking things out of some aluminum. I've got these aluminum sheets that I have a pile of and I'm just going to cut them out. And I started on that and it worked okay, but uh, there was some curve to the aluminum which was causing different issues on my depth. I wasn't holding it right. And then, um, as you'll see here in a, in a minute, I kept hitting different little issues with the tip. Here you can see I didn't go all the way through uh, because of the curve in the aluminum, but I may did manage to get one cut out and it fits perfectly on the rod that I have. So that's exciting, but the design was a little bit thin. It was too easily bent. You can see here, I'm bending one with my hand. So I redesigned it a bit and came back and, and cut a few more. And I kept running into the same problem where one half of it would work fine, but due to the curve in the plate itself, the thinner end of it kept breaking loose and I was getting, you know, this ground out chatter across the tip of it. And I'd say only two thirds of them survived. You can see, you know, it's shallower on one end than the other. But ultimately, I got enough done to do it. I just cleaned up the burrs real quick with a Dremel and moved on. You know, no need to dwell on it. They're not pretty, but they will do the job. And that's what I needed to do right now. Here they all are, I got them done. Now I need to build the rest of the mechanism that actually holds them and runs them across the cam that's gonna give me my cool wave patterns. But, you know, I, I just plowed through those super fast and that's not the optimal way. And I've spent a little bit of time thinking about how I probably would do these if I was gonna mass produce them. And either I could cut them rough like this and then make soft jaws to clamp them in and then face them and bevel them or maybe what I could do is take the whole sheet, you know, something like this, and pre-drill it, preface it, pre-drill it, and then bolt it down onto a fixture and cut them, and I think I'd get better results that way. Uh, but the, the point here is that um, these are rough and, and not done the optimal way, but I just needed to get them out of my system and get them done instead of sitting there and turning my gears forever, thinking about the proper way to do it. And then the next step is to build everything that goes around this. So I'll see you next time.